Hello everyone, myself Pawan and you are watching Optimistic Coder and I'm back with another video on coding interview questions. So let's have a look on today's problem statement. So you are given with two strings, write a method to decide if one is permutation of the other. So whenever you get such a question, before getting into programming or giving the approach, you need to ask a few questions to your interviewer. First is whether the characters in the string are considered to be as case sensitive or not. If they are considering to be as a case sensitive, then it's fine. If it is not, then you need to work on that separately. That is the first thing that you need to ask and clarify from your interviewer. In this video, I will be considering it as case sensitive. That means, for example, if we have a word God, for example, the G is capital and we have an another string given as a dog in which all the characters are small or lowercase. So in that scenario, they will not be considered as permutation of each other because here G is a capital one and G is considered to be as a unique character here. Next question that you need to ask to your interviewer is whether white spaces will be allowed or not. Now, for example, if you have a string named as God with some space, and you have a string named as dog with no space then such a string will also not be not be considered as a permutation if you are putting on a normal logic but in this video i will consider that there will be no void spaces in between the strings but some interviewers might say that yes void space can be allowed then you need to have a solution for it and by the end of this video i will give you a small hint by which you can easily solve it how can you remove the void spaces from this string easily so now let's have a look on the approach what we can do here is if we are given with two different string and if it is a permutation then they will have same number of characters which means that they have same length second they are in different order so we need we just need to put them in an order and just compare both of them to check whether the strings are equal or not if that comes up to be equal, then yes, it's a permutation. And that's the whole logic that we have here. So let's have a look. How can we code it? Okay, so let's first create a function to sort whatever the characters that we have inside the string. So we need to create a method which is going to get an parameter as a string. Then it is then it will be converted into a character array. And then we need to perform the sorting on it. So I will be using string as a return type here and I will use the method name as sort as we are doing the sorting and we are getting a string as s as a parameter. Now in the return we are going to give a string. So for now I will just leave it like that. Okay so whatever the characters that we are getting we have to convert it into a character array so i will be writing here as contents that we are getting and whatever the contents that we are getting is a string so we need to convert it into a character array so for that we will be using to care array as a method so by using this you could easily change it into character type array next to sort the contents present inside the array we will be using a predefined method that is present inside the array write arrays dot sort and i could just pass on the content okay so this array class is belonging to util packages and inside the array class arrays class we have a method named as sort so i will be using that to sort whatever the contents that we have and at the end i'm going to return the contents but we will be returning it as a string so i will be making a new instance of string and pass the contents into it so as we know we can pass it as in the constructor itself so i will be passing here the variable that is our character array so our sort method is done next i will be creating a method to check whether it is permutation or not so for that we need to return a boolean value saying true or false so i will be keeping the return type as 
boolean and the name of the function will be permutation and it will have two different inputs as we have to compare two different strings so i will be taking string s and string t next inside it we will be using an if condition to check whether this strings are having same length or not okay if they don't have same length then we could easily return them as false because if the string lengths are not same then there is no point on sorting and checking that whether they are permutation of each other or not because as two strings can be permutation of each other if they are equal in length and at the end we need to after that we need to just sort the first string by calling the sort method that we have right here created next we need to call sort method for the another string that we have that is t and we need to compare these two things right and we know that this particular string this particular method that is sort is going to return a string value so instead of storing it inside a string and then comparing it why can't we just simply compare them so we can just compare using dot equals and inside it we will pass the next sort method call so that's the line so in this one line we are actually sorting the string s we are again we are also sorting string t and then this after sorting it is getting the strings back and then we are comparing both the strings whether they are equal or not if they are equal they will return a true value and if they are not then they will return a false value so method for sort is done and also the method for permutation is also done now let's check it whether it works perfectly or not so for time being i will just keep this two as static this as a static yeah and i will make a function call named as permutation and i will pass to string that is god and doc and i will print the value what we are getting as we know it is a permutation of each other and it should return the value and uh, let's print and see okay so as we can see on the console it's returning us as true but it will not work for the void spaces if i give a single void space here save it and if i run it again you can see it says as false so that's an issue and if the interviewer says that void spaces will also be considered as an input then to replace this void space you need to use dot replace method so before passing the parameters you just need to use dot replace or you can also get the string here and you can just use dot replace the void space and you can go for it so that's the point of replacing the void spaces or removing the void spaces and then finding it out whether they are permutation of each other or not so that's all in this video guys i hope you liked the video if you liked it please hit like and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section whether you have any other solution for this problem statement i will see you in the next video till then bye bye